Data Builder, we're going to call this Customer Analysis. And I'm looking at page 2 27. Customer Analysis, I'll just put 09 12. All right, and then for the output label, I'm going to call this Customer Underscore Subset. Again, it's on page 2-27. I'm going to click Run Query and add the process run. So it ran the query. If I look over at my project tree, you can see that it has now, in fact, been added. It's my customer analysis 0912 that I just added to the process run. All right. Let's do a View Maximize Workspace, or Control N, if you prefer. And so now I get my project tree and my folders back kind of expanded out in the real estate. And let's close the data exploration. I'm going to X out of this data exploration with a little X. And now my project flow shows everything I did in there. All right, let's save this. So I'm going to click on File. And I just select Save Workshop 1. I don't need to do a save as, I just wanted to go to the same project that I saved earlier. <coughs> Alright, um, the next thing I want to do is I just want to show you a question. Um, we didn't get the last table on the right, customer <laughs> underscore something. Subset. Do you have the customer analysis? I have. Do it. Try right clicking and run that. Click on the run. See it right at the top. And see what that does. All right, now X out of that. All right. Hmm. Not sure why that didn't show up for you. If you're missing the table hanging off the end, um, right mouse click on this and run it, and that should produce your output. Now the other thing you can do with the right mouse click, which we show you on page 2-28, is you can modify. Um, what we do is unknowingly is we created a, a query, and so it allows us to go into this query builder interface, and you know I can select data, I can filter the data, there's my, my year in condition, I can sort the data. I'm not going to make any of these changes, but I could do that all right here. Let's cancel out of that. All right, the other thing I can do is I can, if I know I have data explorations out there, I can go and I can look at my data explorations that have been previously created. Okay, and the way you do that is you can go into this, um, this little, what is that, like a torn off sheet or something? You know, whatever that little icon is supposed to represent, um, if you hover over it, it says data exploration history. Right? I click on that, and I've only got one data exploration out there. That's it. So let's double click on that, and I'm back in that same data exploration that I just created. Okay? And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this. Actually, I'm not back in that data exploration, because look at this. If I use this drop down under viewing, I'm viewing the whole table. Right? Notice all the columns are there. Right? That's not the that's not the data exploration. But if I use this drop down, then notice that I have a view there. View one. Alright? You can select view one. And now I will see just those four columns. And it's, you can see that I've got my filter conditions and my select column. All right, now what I'm going to do next is, is I'm going to change this. I'm going to edit this stuff. I'm going to modify it. And I'm, but I'm not going to save it to the original data exploration. I'm going to save it to a new one. So I'll have two views instead of one view. Okay? So let's edit the selected columns. And let's select all the selected columns and get rid of them all. 
and then add the pending updates. Now, that doesn't get rid of them all. It, if you don't have any selected, then they're all selected. It seems a little counterintuitive, but that's the way it works. All right? So I'll add the pending updates, and effectively, now I've got a show all columns up there. All right? All right, let's go to the filter conditions, and let's edit the filter conditions. So I'll click on the edit under filter conditions. And I'm going to change this. I'm going to actually I'm going to leave the year condition in there. I'm going to add a new one. Now which of these buttons do you think adds a new one? Mm. The little sunburst. The sunburst. I guess that makes sense. I don't know. It's new. <laughs> Alright. All so click on that little sunburst that adds a new condition. And the condition is going to be um, where the category is in the list chocolate. So the category, now here's a case where we might actually want to do a conditional filter and say is equal to, and then select chocolate. Now they say never go against what the demo does, but I'm going to click on Apply Selection. So now mine says category is equal to chocolate. That is logically the same as is in the list chocolate. Okay, but it just shows you all of those um, operators that you can use. All right, I'm going to add that to pending updates. I know this is the one I was remembering before. You don't want to click on Apply Updates. You want to click on the down arrow next to Apply Updates. So that you can do a new view. That way I'll end up with two views. So I'll click on new view. And now I've got, if I look at my history here, I've got the original table, view one, and view two. Alright, I'm looking, I'm currently looking at view two. Now, what am I going to do with this? Am I going to add this to the project? Yes, I am. With options. I'm going to add this with options. So use the drop down and select add to process flow with options. And that's shown on page 2-32. Make your add to process flow with options is gone. You only have add to process flow. You don't have anything. You don't have with options there. Right now. Oh, oh, you're back in. Okay, so what you want to do is, uh, okay, do you and open up all SAS folders? Huh? Um, you can, yeah, go to SAS folders first, just so it looks like mine. So now you get your SAS folders there. And then click on that. Like, and it'll bring it back, back into the history. And then double click on that. And so see, do you have view two? Use the, use the pull down there. And you've only got view one there. So bring up view one and just make it make a modification. Somehow do the same. Okay, so edit, yeah, edit that and get rid of all that. Right. Same data. Correct. 
Well, because we put them on twice. We actually put the same table on there two different times. You can add the same table to a project more than one time. Um, and if, what, one of the things I'll show you how to do is I'll show you how to take this. Project. You can put it on the project as many times as you want. 